What's up, YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel. We're all online at www.whatsupinthesky.com. And that's right, that's at NASA insignia. That means that NASA.com is back up and running, ladies and gentlemen. After the uh, good old uh, government shutdown, we are got some new uh, ice on stuff here. And this is a new, this is from uh, October 9th, this picture taken from the Hubble telescope. And a couple things, like I said, now that we got the NASA website up, I bet you all the people are happy back at work and uh, getting paid again. Um, <laughs> I know that uh, I know that I'm getting. Like I said, I I really appreciate the subscribers here. And just to go off course here, um, I've been thinking and doing a lot more of these anomaly videos I do, and doing some of the news videos. That if uh, there's so much more that I'd like to show you guys, especially some. 3D stuff. So dun dun dun. If you don't have these blue and red, or the old blue and uh, yeah, I guess they're blue and red, um, good old 3D specs. Go ahead and grab yourself a pair. Or I'm gonna take a little bit of the money. Like I said, I don't, I, I don't lie. I don't, I don't hide it out there. You guys watch the ads. You know, all my videos and stuff. They come up. Um, I do get paid for the videos I do. And I said I love doing these videos, and uh, it does help. It helps me pay my bandwidth because I have to upload a lot. You'd be surprised. My monthly cable and internet bill is over $300 a month now, um, just just so I can watch TV and get the internet. And, and about 200 of that's the internet. So, because I, I really don't watch much TV. As far as I'm concerned, the DVRs I get. I can get everything on Hulu that I've got. So I'm going to take a little bit. I'm going to order about 1,000 or 2,000 of these bulk online. And uh, if you want to send me your address and stuff like that, I'm going to make a part on my website where you can put the, uh, you know, they'll have little pictures of something. You can stick it on there and uh, hit it, click it. It'll come up and it'll say, you know, put your address. As long as it's not like, you know, going to be $20 to send you a pair of these, which it shouldn't. It should just take, you know, regular postage mail. I'll send you a couple pairs because some of the anomaly videos are going to be awesome in 3D. I've been looking at a lot of the uh, a lot of the 3D stuff, and some of the pictures we've already done, like Rock Nest 3D, would have been amazing. Um, and you can pretty much with most of these, we can get if they haven't already done it in NASA, you can make your own 3D images. Uh, Mars, especially because the rovers are designed that way with the left and the right stereo cameras. So a lot of a lot of us uh, NASA geeks and the, the rover geeks know that already, but a lot of you probably don't know that that uh, a lot of this is in 3D. And uh, hopefully you're going to be seeing some soon. And like I said, if you don't have them they can be made and I'm going to go ahead and I'll put it up there uh, how to make them there's like a whole bunch of uh, YouTube videos and stuff like that on how to make them maybe I'll even do one how to make them but anyway let's take a look at this picture from uh, Hubble real fast that this was on October 9th it had already passed Mars and it looks like what they're saying is that it uh, made it past Mars it's intact um, let me read a little bit here for you, and then we'll be uh, let y'all go. All right. A new image of the sunward plunging comet Ison suggests that the comet is intact, despite some predictions that the fragile icy nucleus may disintegrate as the sun warms it. The comet will pass closest to the sun on November 28th. Um, in this Hubble Space Telescope image, on, taken on October 9th, the comet's solid nucleus is unresolved because it is so small. If the nucleus broke apart, and the Hubble would have likely seen evidence for multiple fragments, it wouldn't be so so crystal clear there. You would have probably seen more and it would have been so uniform, which I think it gets into next. Uh, moreover, the coma or head surrounding the comet's nucleus is symmetric and smooth. This would probably not be the case if clusters of the smaller fragments were flying along. What's more, a polar jet of dust first seen in Hubble images taken in April is no longer visible or may have turned off. So that, that's gone too. Um, the color composite image was assembled using two filters. The comet's coma appears cyan, a greenish blue color due to the gas, while the tail is reddish due to the dust streaming off the nucleus. The tail forms as the dust particles are pushed away from the nucleus by the pressure of the sunlight. The comet was inside Mars orbit and was 177 million miles from Earth when this was photographed. That's just amazing. All that space, and look how beautiful it came up. It's, it's going to make its uh, closest approach to Earth on December 26th, and it will be gorgeous if it stays intact and comes around the sun. That's what the uh, prediction is. So much love, guys. The shutdown's over. NASA's up. Stay tuned. Tonight I'm going to do a really good curiosity picture that I haven't seen yet out there. One or two people did it. I caught it. I was on a, a really good... Uh, I'm going to link the guy. Another guy doing Mars videos today. I told him I was going to have to grab a couple of his things because he did a really good job. So I'll make sure I link him. Um, start digging. If you have some of these, start getting them out because uh, within a couple of weeks, we're going to get some 3D videos. I'm going to wait till that comes in so I can start. Like I said, I, I'm going to use some of this. I was even thinking about some other things I could do for the website, like a telescope giveaway, some other stuff like that to help uh, just kind of bring, to say thank you to you guys. You know what I mean? You guys helped me survive. Much love. Take it easy. I love you guys. Peace.